You're the last of the fries. That dress and you know your way around the kitchen. Don't you get any ideas, McBain. This is a one-time thing and only because I like it. Mm. All right, Jeff. You know what to do with this. And when you're done, why don't you take the rest of the night off, okay? Thanks, boss. You closing early? Yeah, I thought I would. Why? What are we doing here, John? What do we have here? What's that? Let's see. Oh, dear John, I know I shouldn't be writing this. You saved my letter. Excuse me, I'm reading. But I can't help the way I feel about you. I've tried to deny it. I've tried to fight it. But there's something that keeps pulling me back to you. <laughs> so you brought me here to humiliate me? I'm sorry, did you or did you not write this? Because Roxy made me. I was going to get on a plane to London and live miserably ever after. But no, she made me spill my guts. And if you hadn't, we wouldn't be here right now. So, if I hadn't written my letter, you'd still be with Marty? Looks like I told you at the airport. Marty broke it off with me. I'm not saying the letter changed how I felt. It's just, uh... Marty had just lost the baby, and you weren't about to leave her. And then she read my letter, and she had too much pride to stay. Yeah, I think it was hard for her seeing it there in black and white. I mean, it's not like she didn't know what happened between us. You know, we've been trying to move on. You know, because what everything had happened, and I just don't think she could let herself see that what we felt was real. So is that why we're together, that you do the right thing and I don't? You did the right thing. So maybe it's just that no one else will put up with us. Or maybe we just belong together. So is that why you dragged me here with my letter in your pocket? So in your letter you told me to meet you here at midnight if I wanted to have a future with you. I didn't make it. I wanted you here so much. And when you weren't, I felt my heart break and I gave up on you. Let's fix that. All right? Tonight at midnight, I'm going to be here. You know, there's not, there's not too many people who are lucky enough to get a second chance. Bo, Nora, and Jess and Brody. Maybe yes. So, got a little time before midnight. Think you can take me? I think you should stop talking and break. You gonna take your shot? Right now. <laughs> <laughs> 